everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is Chelsea's Tarot Readings and for today's pick a card, this is going to be an important guidance message from Spirit. So something that you probably really need to hear right now. Um, I did do four different themes and piles for this video. Pile one is secrets. Pile two is to the moon and back. Pile three is listen, and pile four is mermaid's love. So choose the theme that you are drawn to. I'll post the timestamp so the time each pile starts at in the description, as well as the comments. If you would like to book a more personal reading, you can go to the link on your screen now. It's very easy to book, and it's a video just like this one, unless you prefer typed. Um, but other than that, I really hope you enjoy the video. If you do, Please hit that like button, subscribe if you're new here, welcome to the fam, and let's get right into it. And so the theme that you chose was secrets, which has to do with magic, mystery, and hidden thoughts. A girl on a stool is tall enough to reach the moon. She holds a ring of keys in her hand. One of them will fit in the keyhole on the moon's surface. This card tells us about personal secrets, hidden thoughts, and ideas one keeps in their mind. Nobody is able to look inside your head unless you invite them to. You have the power to decide how much of your thoughts you want to share with others. A little mystery helps keep the magic alive. So the overall theme we have is secrets. Okay. Um, so for our goddess guidance, we have Bridget. Don't back down, so stand up for you for what you believe in. She's very, um, Bridget's a very powerful, powerful force, a powerful goddess. A deep knowing. Spirit's here to inform you that you have a very deep knowing when it comes to so many things. That, that's why you're being told to share a little bit of this magic that you have with the world. Because you do, you have a very deep knowing. Um, so we have Harmony. We have harmony, we have spiritual strength, which is also the number nine. And we have awareness. So again, a deep knowing, those who chose pile one. And some of the guidance I'm definitely getting is you guys hold a lot of secrets within you. You have a deep knowing. Um, I feel you hold a lot of kind of like, I'm getting ancient secrets. And then harmony, spiritual strength, and awareness. So with harmony, I'm getting that you make um, these close connections with others. And you're being told, um, well, guidance for, guidance for you right now is to open up and trust in yourself and love yourself because the harmony would also be the lover's card so um taking part in self-love self-care the nine i love this the spiritual strength card also also the number nine is kind of saying like focusing your guidance right now is to focus on your spiritual strength and again you're being told not to back down because you know there could be thoughts in your head where you know you you believe that you should be backing down like maybe you're not strong enough like you don't have what it takes but it, it's weird that you think this and i just say this because you do have again this deep knowing we also have an owl on the card so that's how you know this really represents wisdom and then awareness just a strong, strong knowing. You have a lot of awareness to you. You have a strong spiritual connection and your spiritual strength um, is probably being tested right now. And that's why you're being told not to back down. You know, I also wanna point out that with the spiritual strength card as well, you have so many battle scars. You have so many wounds and Again, this is all from personal experience, but that's why you're so strong spiritually. I feel you've come to the point where you're so strong that nothing can really break you. Um, and it's also talking about, you know, you're almost at the end of a goal or, um, you know, you're, you're close, sorry, you're close to achieving a goal. 
Um, it could be a spiritual goal and you're very close. Um, but yeah, 43 again, it's saying with the secrets card that you do probably again have a lot of secrets, uh, wounds that you keep hidden from other people. But your guidance is to kind of not back down, express yourself, stand up for what you believe in right now um, and for what you believe is right. Trust your inner knowing, trust that you have all of the powers you need to kind of harness any any problems you have right now you're going to get through whatever it is that you're going through without a doubt um and again with the harmony card i do believe this does this could have to do with connections for some of you maybe it's you need to uh, question a love connection you know is it for your highest good that kind of thing um basically however that will resonate but you're a very strong person and again you have a lot of secrets that you know, you are probably actually meant to share with the world when the time is right, but don't back down. You have a lot of spiritual strength and your guidance is to kind of keep going. You have a very strong awareness and a deep knowing. So stick to what you know, because you're heading for greener pastures. Okay. I believe at pile one, but I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. You chose pile two, so what is your guidance from spirit going to be? What were you meant to hear right now? So, for the theme we have to the moon and back, which is a card about desires, wishes, that kind of thing. I feel this is not the theme right now. This is what's kind of going on in your life, the theme. Oh, we have Cordelia go outside. So this is the goddess guidance card. You have been indoors too long, go outside and get some fresh air. So for a lot of you, yes, you are being drawn to kind of partaking in some outside activities. This will help you feel better. Um, nature does wonders to the body, let me tell you. It really does. All that glitters. So it's funny because with to the moon and back being the theme, and then this card coming out for our wisdom card, this is actually saying that, you know, all that glitters is in gold. And you, you seem to have these desires, I feel, that might be maybe superficial, maybe a little too superficial right now, and a lot of wishes that might be superficial, or maybe it's something that you think is going to be great for you but in the long run it turns out to not be that great and it could be like even a person like someone who um hides their true self and kind of puts that mask on you know what i'm saying because it also talks about um a longing so having a longing for someone that could also be the theme that's why i point that out because this could be talking about a person Oh, yes. So intuition. Strong card. I definitely could see this coming out in the spread for sure. Prosperity begins. Heartache and loss. So you want this new beginning. Yeah, for a lot of you, this actually does have to do with a longing for someone or a desire for someone. If not, and there's a desire for like prosperity, I see you must go with your intuition on this one because if this has to do with a person, I feel for a lot of you, for the majority, you've experienced a lot of heartache and loss here. This would actually be the Three of Swords. This would also be a mental card. Um, and you could have also experienced heartache and loss when it came to some kind of prosperity or um sorry some kind of um i want to say offering you had like a chance you would have had that ended up becoming a loss but all that glitters is in gold so you must rem um kind of keep that in mind for those of you who this doesn't have to do with like a love partner your guidance is um, to keep in mind, again, all that glitters is in gold. And if you lost an opportunity, usually it's because there's something greater coming for you or something that's more meant for you. And that's why you're being told not to give up. Regardless, don't give up. Um, 
And again, go with your intuition. We have the high priestess. Um, so if this has to do with a person and you're having this longing for a person, because again, for a lot of you, this theme does have to do with desires, wishes, um, and people. So again, there could be a heartache and loss and there could be this really want this, this, like, it's like you want it so bad. You want a new beginning so bad and you feel you, it will be a prosperous new beginning. I feel you've painted this picture in your head when, again, we do have the All That Glitters card. Um, it, you're really kind of not listening to your intuition and you need to listen to your intuition on this. I feel for a lot of you, this person um, might have hurt you. So that's why you're being kind of called to go outside and really kind of get some fresh air, reevaluate your desires, I feel, too, if this does have to do with a person. If it has to do with, um, again, like a beginning when it comes to prosperity, keep going, keep trying. That's your advice here. This is your guidance because even though you've been through that heartache and that loss of an opportunity, there's more coming for you. There's always an, a new opportunity. A lot of people don't understand that and that's why they give up before that new opportunity is able to present itself sometimes things just aren't meant for you but yeah so that is your guidance and that was that is what you were meant to hear from spirit that was pile two i hope you guys enjoy this reading if you did please hit that like button subscribe and i'll see you in the next one Bye guys. It was the theme listen, which has to do with mindfulness, sensitivity, and empathy. This young woman with closed eyes and a knowing smile is rooted in the earth. Her hair has transformed into the roots of the plants above her. You can tell the woman is aware of her surroundings. She is connected to the voice of nature. She can listen to the growing plants beneath the ground. She is an integral part of her world. She, un she understands the sorrows and worries of the environment. She also knows the songs of nature's pleasures. So this theme also has to do with mindfulness, sensitivity, and empathy, um, like I said. And the theme is listen. Let's see. For our goddess guidance, we have... Coventina, purification. It's time for a cleansing detoxification of your body and mind. So for a lot of you who chose pile three, spirit um, does have an important message and it's for you to listen and to purify yourself. The ins I feel it's saying like inside and out of your body and your mind. It could also have a lot to do with just, you know, going and taking a nice bath and self-care because, uh, you know, I also get water. We see blue on the card. Oh, yeah. Chaos and conflict. So, yeah, for a lot of you, you're probably at a crossroads in life right now. Um, things are probably chaotic. A lot going on at once for you. Um, maybe life is kind of just really overwhelming right now. That's just really what I get. And that's kind of why you're being guided to really have this purification i can um i want to get more of what she suggests because they usually have um more so yeah follow your intuition's guidance about lifestyle changes stop abusing alcohol or drugs avoiding processed foods such as sugar you know eating more organic keeping your thoughts and speech patterns very positive as well um Patience and planning. So we have the number seven, which does have to do with patience. So patience and planning. Transformation. And movement choices and decisions. So yeah, I feel for a lot of you, it is hard for you to kind of make decisions right now. Um, with the chaos and conflict, it's kind of blocking Um it's kind of blocking you and that's why you're being told to kind of just listen and take a step back right now have patience with yourself uh plan things out more accordingly um hmm. let me see what we can get a clarifier for this transformation card which is also the death card for scorpio um 
Yeah, I feel for a lot of you, you're actually becoming more, um, and, like, and more empathic, I feel, for a lot of you. Because we have a transformation going on, and it has to do with, um, for some of you, you could actually be pregnant. <clears throat> but for others, this is saying, like, you're taking on a lot more emotions right now. And I feel it's because you have so much going on. And that's why you're being told that you need to have patience with yourself. Because you have a lot going on um, on the inside. So you need to kind of have more patience with yourself. Um, you need to plan out what you're going to do. Spirit's saying you need to, you know, maybe lists would be your best friend right now. It would clear some of this chaos. So make some lists about what you know, what, what steps you can take next, you know, with where you're going or your goals, things along those lines. Because I feel, again, for a lot of you, you could be, um, be becoming increasingly more sensitive with fertility here. Um, hmm. Yeah, and especially with the listen theme, because again, that, that's very sensitive as well. I just get a lot of sensitivity at this time, and you're being told... Uh, by spirit to kind of go easy on yourself yeah disruption like there's disruption going on right now emotional loss i feel for a lot of you you have to kind of deal with an emotional loss for a lot of you so I feel there's something that you probably still haven't dealt with maybe. And before you move on, maybe you need to deal with this emotional loss. Cause I'm asking spirit like for, you know, some more guidance for a lot of you, you probably haven't properly dealt with this. And again, it was like a sudden disruption, but it was destined to happen. It was destiny. It was meant to happen, you know? So, uh, unfortunately, you know, good things are meant to happen, bad things are meant to happen, you know, but things are usually meant to happen. Um, and it's all for a reason, governed by a higher power. So, especially, I want to say, especially this, this emotional loss that occurred. Um, if it was a passing away, again, this isn't meant to be harsh, it's just saying, you know, people, we all have our time and... It's just destiny, and that's you're probably very shooken up by this. Um, if you haven't lost anyone, don't worry. That's not for you. It's just saying that you have probably experienced some kind of emotional loss that happened very quickly, and it's something that you know you probably still haven't um, made a decision on or moved forward from. You really haven't, but you're being told right now to have patience with yourself, and again, kind of plan out what you want to happen. But also letting you feel your feelings, I feel. I feel your feelings, I feel. No, yeah, I mean, that's definitely what I get is for you to kind of, you know, you, you did. You experienced this hurt and it's like you haven't really felt, felt it. Like you felt it, but you haven't, I don't know, it's like you just kept it hidden. But it was meant to happen. It was destiny. So, you know things happen and things are meant to be but who knows what the future uh has in store you know what i'm saying that's that's the way i like to look at it anyway so that was your guidance and your guidance again is to plan right now have patience try to move forward and make decisions make good choices be careful with yourself and detox again purify yourself um and yeah, just all of these good things, you know, just take care of yourself. So that was pile three. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Hi, those of you who chose the theme Mermaid's Love. So Mermaid's Love, it has to do with love, partnership, support, and accord. A loving couple is shown on this card. The woman is a mermaid. Her hair and tail seem to float her through the sky. A man with feathers holds her hand. He grounds and protects her. He is her base. Okay, what else? 
They are from different worlds, water and the sky, but they are complete together, a perfect love union. Their differences make them stronger and balanced. They support each other in their own way, but always from a place of respect and love. So this is two very different people and or personalities coming together, but blending very nicely. And I feel for a lot of you, this um, those who chose pile four, this is a love theme that you chose, obviously. Green Tara. So this is our goddess guidance. Start delegating. Ask others, including me, to help you instead of trying to do everything by yourself. So you can obviously ask goddess Green Tara to help you. Um, that way you really don't have to do everything for yourself because there are others that are willing to help right away and right when you need them. And this could also have to do with matters of the heart as well or decision making. Ooh, and then for wisdom, we have loyal heart. So yeah, there's some love vibes going on here, guys, for sure. If there is someone in your life now, if you're single, this is saying that there's definitely someone coming in and this is why you're meant to watch this and it's someone who's very loyal and has a loyal heart. But this is also saying you have a loyal heart and you make an amazing partner. Um, you know, whether you're single or in a relationship, you would make an amazing partner because you yourself have a loyal heart. Rejoice in celebration three. So also a green. This is uh this has to do with emotion. So have fun. Um spirits kind of saying like have fun, enjoy your loved ones. Again, if that special person is in your life, enjoy their presence. I feel for a lot of you, if you're single, you'll meet them um at like a celebration. Rest and rejuvenate. So you're being told that, again, you really need to rest your mind because for a lot of you, you're taking on a lot of things right now mentally. You're overworking yourself mentally. That's why this is showing up as your guidance um, because you can't, you do you need some rest from that. And then firm foundation. Whoever this is that's coming in is going to offer you a firm foundation. And this is going to be something that is solid. So again, offering you something that is actually worth putting your energy into and you know it's a relationship that will actually blossom let's get some more guidance so if you're with this person now i mean this is just a you know an extra kind of clarifying reading for you and that's why you're being told to kind of maybe rest okay and we have deception and envy and solitude so it could be for a lot of you, if you have been with this person that, you know, maybe they have been deceptive in the past um, and that's why you've kind of put yourself in solitude, but your guides and spirit is saying now that, you know, this person has changed a lot in those ways and they're not, they don't have any deceptive behaviors going on now. Um, and then for those of you who are single, again, not to kind of fall into that deceptive kind of, not deceptive, but like, sorry, more like envious kind of behavior, like envying other people or envying other couples, like happy couples, um, and to kind of, you know, with solitude, take this from a, take this from a, a different space, kind of go inside because rest and rejuvenate in solitude go inside yourself and you'll find the answers to what you need to do right now but overall this is going to help you because you know being envious of other people or you know all of things along those lines or worrying about deceptive behavior isn't going to get you anywhere um it's not going to progress things in a healthy way so that's why you're being to, told to kind of like be in solitude. I feel things will work out well. Um, Cause again, you do have a firm foundation here. So, and for the envy, for the envy part, again, if you're like being envious of other people, there's no need to be again, because someone is coming in and you have a loyal heart. So love is going to come to you regardless because of your heart. So don't, you know, deceive yourself from, true love and even if, again if you're with this person now don't deceive yourself from true love because again this um people do change yes it's very rare um 
but it seems to me that, you know, you just need to kind of take a rest and kind of, um, yeah, I just feel like definitely give your mind a rest and open up your heart chakra. That's definitely just what I get with pile four. So I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.